Tanya and Terrell, they are. We have seen them bringing food and supplies this morning more than yesterday. People are hearing the call. Volunteer coordinator Veronica Saldana with the Pilsen Food Pantry delivering diapers and other essential items this morning to a shelter in Pilsen housing close to 70 migrants. This as more and more people from the community step up to help. There is just a continuous flow of people coming in wanting to help. Mainly right now they're in need of air mattresses, blankets. Dulce Garduno is volunteering at the Pilsen shelter. The building was donated by a local business owner after the 12th district police station had to turn some asylum seekers away. Garduno has been translating for many migrants here and lending an ear. I'm coming here to talk with them, to listen to them, but no listen to the story just be, you know, you are here. You, you are welcome. 25th Ward Alderman Byron C. Joe Lopez has been coordinating this community effort in Pilsen as the pandemic era Title 42 immigration restrictions are set to expire late tonight, which means the number of migrants is expected to surge. We are clear eyed about the challenges we are likely to face in the days and weeks ahead. Mayor Lightfoot has already declared a state of emergency with city run shelters full and resources scarce as hundreds of migrants keep arriving in Chicago by the day. Plus, Mayor elect Brandon Johnson was in Washington, D.C. yesterday meeting with top White House officials along with Illinois Senators Dick Durbin and Tammy Duckworth. He's calling for federal help. Back here in Pilsen, volunteers are bracing for the possible influx of asylum seekers. It's just sad that there's no real systems in place for receiving um, these folks, and I hope that that changes soon. Alderman Byron C. Joe Lopez tells me this morning that they now have 50 volunteers at the Pilsen shelter. Watch breaking news on YouTube. Subscribe to ABC7 Chicago Eyewitness News.